Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. <laughs> Wake up! The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go back to sleep, technology is everywhere. It is changing everything so fast that many no longer remember what it is like to live without technology. You might even say, the whole world is mad about tech. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk, only on Africa Business Radio. You're listening to Africa Business Radio, where you get up-to-date insights on the Africa business landscape. Log on to www.africabusinessradio.com. Your favorite shows are available as podcasts. Download them on our website and mobile app. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. <laughs> and welcome to 99 Tech Talk. Welcome to another exciting episode. 99 Tech Talk is a daily tech show that dives into the global tech ecosystem in Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world. This show is brought to you by 989 Workspaces. I'm Michelle, your host, and I'm absolutely and ridiculously mad about tech. Now, here's what you'll enjoy on the show today. The show kicks off in no particular order with tech trends and updates. Next, we have a guest in the I mean, who's going to call in the studio. Um, she owns a company called Lagos Moms and Slave Digital. I repeat, Slave Digital, and she cannot wait to tell you all about her business. Next, we have a we have Gadget Doctor, and that's going to be handled by Talk Bear. He'll be reviewing the iPhone X Arrow. Ooh, that'll be fun. Next, we have another guest in the food tech space. Um, he's a co-founder of a company called HTML Foods. His name is Miracle Godwin, and he's itching to tell you about his business. As usual, before I jump into this topic, let's catch up a bit. Follow us on 99 Tech Talk on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Africa Business Radio on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Africa Biz Radio on Twitter. We're going to go on a short break. When we come back, we'll hit you with the headlines. <laughs> The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go back to sleep, technology is everywhere. It is changing everything so fast that many no longer remember what it is like to live without technology. You might even say, the whole world is mad about tech. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk, only on Africa Business Radio. Ah! Okay. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no.
Welcome back to 99 Tech Talk. Let me let me let me hit you with the headline. Um, so HP reje- rejects Xerox again, but leaves door open for negotiation. Let me tell you about that. So, in a letter released yesterday from HP Inc., the board of directors, I mean, the, the letter was to the board of directors of Xerox Corp. The company rejected their latest takeover offer, saying it significantly undervalues the company. At the same time, it left the door open for further negotiation. Now, in the letter, HP made it clear that it's not desperate for a buyer and maintains that it would just be fine without combining with Xerox. In fact, it would appear that it is Xerox that is looking for a savior, even while attempting a hostile takeover of HP. Isn't that funny? It's, it's like, um, but but guess what though? HP is much is a much larger entity with a market cap exceeding twenty nine billion dollars, while Xerox market cap is just under eight point five billion dollars. The company sent the offer letters to HP on the fifth and twenty first of November, outlining its proposed takeover terms. HP rejected both offers. The company's the board stated concern about the size of the offer and Xerox's ability to even afford a potential deal. And they and they said, and I quote, they said, we iterate that we reject Xerox's proposal as it significantly undervalues HP. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I like, you know, that like, yeah, HP, yes, yes. I, I like when company, you know, like the looking at this, seeing that HP HP's market cap is $29 billion and Xerox is just $8.5 billion. I'm like, eh, okay, that's a little too ambitious. But I'd like to see what this, i like to see how this ends. Next on Tech Trends and Updates, um, Facebook is launching in a new market research and product testing program that lets users earn money. People in America who are over 18 can download viewpoints and participate in a well-being survey so Facebook can learn to limit the negative impact of social media and enhance the benefits. Other opportunities include completing online chores on behalf of Facebook or trying out new apps or devices ahead of launch so Facebook can refine them. The well-being survey would take about 15 minutes and I mean, users have scored about a thousand points, which translates into a five dollar reward that's paid over PayPal. That's paid over PayPal. So you don't think I said people? It's paid over PayPal. <laughs> people interested in signing up can visit viewpoints.fb.com. Viewpoints.fb.com. If you're looking to earn a little bit of money here and there, Facebook claims that it'll only see. The data collected internally and won't sell it. Do you believe them? I highly <laughs> this will nah. I do not believe them. But Facebook, um, Facebook viewpoints are available on iOS and Android, and the company plans to open the app to more countries next year. The question is whether users will be comfortable giving up even more data to Facebook. Many are already crept out by Facebook. I'm I'm crept out by Facebook, but but the monetary incentive people might you know might just might just want to do it you know you know see money 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 meanwhile facebook will have to work to prevent the app from being abused most importantly it needs to figure out how to make sure underage minors aren't slipping into the app they might be more vulnerable to coercion by cash you know what i mean and less aware of the consequences of sharing their data next on tech trends and updates um uber has again been denied license you know in london over safety risks. Ugh. Two months after being given a two-month reprieve on license to operate in London, Uber has once again been denied a full renewal by the, by the city's transport regulator, which said that it had found a pattern of failures which put passenger, passenger safety and security at risk. Uber's troubles in London began in 2017 when Transport for London... TFL made the shock decision to deny license renewal, citing a range of concerns, including how Uber reported criminal offenses, how they carried out background checks on drivers, and its use of proprietary software it developed that could be used to block regulatory oversight. Now, this allowed unauthorized drivers to pick up passengers as though they were book drivers, which occurred in at least 14,000 trips 
putting passenger safety and security at risk. That's just crazy. But this means that all the journey were uninsured and some passengers some passenger journey took place with unlicensed drivers, one of which had previously had their license revoked by TFL. It also identified another safety and security failure that allowed dismissed or suspended drivers to create an Uber account and carry passenger. No, that makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. But you know what? I hope I hope Uber gets their license. I hope Uber sorts out all the concerns that TFL has raised and so that they can get back in business. I really do hope because, you know, I'm lucky team Uber, you know. Um, next on Tech Trends and Update, Elon Musk took a big swipe at Ford during the unveiling of the Cybertruck. Ooh, I like wars like this. Like, it, it's re- this would be exciting to watch. Now, mid Elon's presentation, he played a video of a Cybertruck pulling on, um, pulling the, the Ford F-150 in what was pitched as a head-to-head contest. Many have questioned if it was a fair fight, including Sandeep Madra. Actually, Sandeep Madra. Sorry, I said that. I read, I read the name. VP of Ford X, the automaker's venture incubator. So Madra yesterday tweeted to Elon Musk calling for Tesla CEO to send Ford a cyber truck to do an apples to apples test. That would be exciting to watch. In the end, though, these bot to bot pull challenges are fun, but I don't, I don't think it proves much relevant to the real world. I think Elon is doing this to get more and more orders. So far, I think he's he's now gotten over two hundred thousand orders online on the cyber truck. And if you go on our social media page, 99 Tech Talk, someone commented saying rappers would like it. I know for a fact that a lot of rappers would like the Cybertruck. Now, the Cybertruck pulls first when you look at that video. And, and when they did that, it increased Tesla's traction and decreased Ford's. Also, Tesla went to a vehicle from a standstill. It is critical to ensure the slack is removed from the line because it'll be dangerous to do otherwise. Because the line can snap. You know, that, that would be crazy. Um, so Ford is among a handful of automakers developing an electric pickup that will compete against the Tesla Cybertruck. The F-150 is Ford's best-selling vehicle and very, very critical to its balance sheet. So what Elon did with that video, the stunt they pulled with that video was crazy and Ford isn't finding it funny. So they want the rematch. I like to see how that goes. I, like, I really like to see how that goes. Last on tech trends and updates, eBay sells its ticketing unit, StubHub, for over $4 billion. The company is being sold as part of a plan that could double the company's value. Nice, nice, nice. And that's it for tech trends and updates today. We're going to go on a short break. When we come back, we have a guest who cannot wait to tell you about their businesses. I'll talk to you soon. Wake up! The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go back to sleep, technology is everywhere. It is changing everything so fast that many no longer remember what it is like to live without technology. You might even say the whole world is mad about tech. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk, only on Africa Business Radio. Oh, this feels like the final football match between two soccer warriors. Oh my god, can somebody please tell me what the African formation is? Oh, oh, it's 442. Amazing. Cool stuff. That's just super amazing, isn't it? Africa Business Radio is doing 442 on the news with 40% Nigerian stories, 40% African stories, and 20% global stories. Now that's what I call a homegrown hot drinking goal. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome on board the flight that takes you from Stratton to Straight End. We are seconds from takeoff. We ask that you please fasten your earpiece into your eardrum and please log on to AfricaBusinessRadio.com to avoid being distracted. Thank you for choosing Africa Business Radio. Enjoy this cerebral journey. Doing business in Africa can be complicated. Politicians sometimes create circumstances that hurt businesses and consumers, and then they hide behind a wall of to avoid taking responsibility for their bad economic policies. On Red Tape Africa, we slice through the jargon, drawing a direct link between government actions and their effects on businesses across the continent. Red Tape Africa is where we break down the jargons of business and economic policies in plain English so that you can understand how the impacts on your business and on you. Join us every Tuesday and Thursday on Africa Business Radio as we deliver an impartial verdict on these policies. Red Tape Africa, economic policy impact in plain English. Wake up! The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. Welcome back to 989 Tech Talk. I've got Yetin Day on call with me in the studio. And Yetin is the founder of a company called Legal Small and Slave Digital. Hi, Yetin Day. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Awesome. So, so can you tell us about um, Legal Small and then Slave Digital? I'm very interested in Slave Digital, but let's start with Legal Small. <laughs> let's start with it. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Okay, cool. So Legal Small is an online hub. Okay. for parents mm. raising kids in the 21st century okay. and you know you know the African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child right. I say <laughs> I say it's still very relevant mm. only difference now is maybe I would add that it takes an e-village to raise a child nice, nice. so you know <laughs> for me Lagos mom started from a personal from my personal experience right. when I was a new mom right. I was always going online um, researching doing thousands of Googles on various things around raising children right, today. Right, right. And there were, I always found there was a huge gap. There was hardly anything for me as a mom in Lagos. So from a point of view of shopping, relevant information around like domestic staff, right, and things like that, right. finding a school that was relevant for me here. And that's when I thought, you know what, I'm sure there are other moms who are also using technology. Right. And it might be great to create a hub for that. No, so as I say, the rest is history. That was where it started <laughs> from. And, um, you know, it's, it's really grown to be such an engaging community right. of mothers and fathers as well who are just trying to get the best um, information necessary to raise kids today. 
Wonderful, wonderful. I like, I like that. I mean, I like how you started, and how how now you've said the rest is history. It makes a whole lot of sense, you know. Yeah. Um, I know you guys have like an online. You have a you have a training ongoing for mothers, teachers, and and kids. Can you tell us about that a bit? Perfect. Yes. So, right. So, I'm really big on raising children who are aware of being digital citizens, um, responsible digital citizens. Right. So, in doing that, I actually got contacted by Google, Ooh. and they were yeah, which is which is a great <laughs> recognition. Right. And um, <laughs> they were running a program where um, they were trying to work with the com- with companies that uh-huh. would allow them to train children, right. parents, and teachers right. on online safety. So Fantastic. I just finished a wave of that with them, and I I had to train, train a thousand people mm-hmm. in in a few months, mm-hmm. which wasn't difficult to do because you know we have over eighty one thousand followers on on Lagos what? alone. So it was, what? Yes. That so it is... was pretty. So I'm quite thankful. It was it wasn't too difficult to um to meet that target. Right. No, that's that's wonderful. You trained over a thousand people, and you guys have over eighty yeah. something thousand followers on social media. That's just. That's so. That's so. That's a huge number. You guys have. So you have. It's, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. So the training now uh, is, it, is it free? Like, how does it work? If I if I want to subscribe, if I want to go for it, yeah, how, so like, it's, yeah, it's free. Um, it's been sponsored by Google. Oh, nice. Um, okay. So it's really. It's, yes, it's really a matter of me finding platforms that want to get trained, and oh. then I I offer the training. Yeah, uh, that, that makes a whole lot of sense. That is absolutely amazing. So, is there a link? Oh, do you have anyone coming up soon? Is there like a link for whoever wants to? Um, yes, I will have to get back to you because the phase one was just completed. You know, okay. I just sent in the yeah, call, yeah. so I'm hoping I'm hoping that it's something that we pick up again because okay. the feedback was really amazing. Okay. So I'm hoping that it's something that we are, we continue to run. Okay, awesome. I hope so too. I really do hope so too. Um, can you tell us um, in terms of collaboration with Lagos Mom? If you if if anybody wants to collaborate with you like what are the opportunities and how can they do that yeah so we've um we've evolved into a platform now that connects businesses with our niche audience okay. and our niche audience really are you know mothers and their families right so if you're a brand a product a service who uh-huh. has something specific for that niche audience uh-huh. i am looking for a for a compelling effective engaging way to right. connect with that community right. or that niche using digital media marketing that's where we come in oh, awesome. so we're able to run customized campaigns for you right. no matter what industry you're in we right. understand our moms we know what they respond to a lot of people don't pay attention to ads anymore the way right. ads were done of course so it has to be done in a very engaging way where the, the person taking that information in mm-hmm. um, is seeing two things. They're seeing the value that you offer them. Right. And then number two, they're getting a sense of, you know, we have a lot of trust that mm-hmm. we've built in our community. So right. people have a sense of, well, if Lagos wants to put in it out, okay, we can kind of feel that, you know, she's done right. her homework. Right. <laughs> you know, so that's also one of the things that we bring on board. So we're, we're happy to work with anybody. Oh, that's awesome. And um, we're very easy to find well, on social media and our website as well. Awesome. Speaking of website, um, I see it has a part where people can shop. How? Um, there's a part here that says shop. People can buy. So can you tell us a bit about that, just real quick? Yes. Yeah, so I started a marketplace. Okay. Um, you know, about a year ago, and <laughs> right. the idea there, <laughs> I haven't pushed it so much, but right. the idea there is to sell a couple of you know Lagos home merchandise, Aww. as well as work with a few third party. Um, especially small SMEs right. who have products and services right. and you know they're looking for platforms to sell their products uh-huh. so we've we've integrated it with Paystack you know oh. we try to ensure that it's secure so we're almost like a very mini Amazon Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'd like to have you on the show again when you have like more stuff to talk about, especially with Lagos Mom and what you're doing with the website. Next is okay. Slave Digital. Did I say that correctly? Is it Digital Slave play, or Slave Digital? Play with, play with Digital. Say that again. Slay with Digital. Slay way Digital. No, slay with with W I T H. Slay with. Digital? Slay with oh my goodness. Wow, I think I'm ordered the name initially. I'm so sorry about that. Uh-huh. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about that real quick? Yeah, so you know what came out of my business um passion right. at Lagos Moms was that I found that digital media is a 
huge, huge opportunity right. to scale our businesses. Right. And many people don't necessarily know what it means to go digital. Mm. They, you know, it's not just social media, it's everything. It's thinking about your company with a digital mindset right. and what does that mean. So I actually went back and got a certification. And it was after that I started this consulting service to yeah. help businesses figure out their digital strategy. Mm. Um, where, where digital media is one of those um, aspects. What is everything from your email marketing to uh-huh. how are you getting data? Uh-huh. How are you mining the data that you mm. get about your customers? How are you turning it into value for right. yourself, for your customers? So it's much more than just how you manage my Instagram page, which is what most people say. Nice. You know, so that's really what that service um, offers. That's awesome. And what? I'm the lead con- I'm the lead consultant on that. Of course you are. <laughs> 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 so what is the website for Slay Digital? <laughs> So it's actually under my website, which is Yeti Williams. Okay. So yetiwilliams.com has uh, the has the fact that I offer two streams of, of coaching slash consulting. Okay. One is around the parents inside, and then the other one is around you know if you're a business and you want to play with digital, mm-hmm. you know you can click you can make an appointment with me. We can right. have a call, uh-huh. and then from there we decide you want a retainer you just need that one call to help you set your strategy mm-hmm. it really mm-hmm. depends on what it is that um that you want makes sense speaking of retainer right um how 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 affordable are you let me let me say that way how affordable are you to work <laughs> with <laughs> yeah, i'm not i i wouldn't say i'm crazy expensive okay. i'm very affordable okay. um what i do very what i do have a free 15 minute um intake call oh, nice. which just helps us to figure out Am I the right person for you? Right. So if you want hand holding, pizza party, oh my god, I don't get it, then I'm not the right person for you. Right. But right. if you want to say this is where I want to get to, this is I need help to help me get from point A to point B right. or I'm trying to figure out what my right point B is, right. then I can help you. Then you won't see me as expensive because you see the result. I got you. Makes a whole right. lot of sense. Makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. So on Slay Digital, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how can they get in touch with you? The best way is to go to the website, yetiwilliams.com. That's okay. Y-E-T-Y-Williams.com. Okay. And, you know, when you get there, you will see that I have two services, my what I call abundant living coaching, okay, which yeah. is helping moms live their most abundant lives right. because we find too many people are not thriving. You know, they get the mom title, they get the wife title, but right. they're still feeling very empty. Right. You know, so I help women a lot to live their most abundant lives. And nice. then the second stream is my Slay with Digital, Slay with, which yeah. is helping businesses, SMEs, anybody who wants to figure out their digital media strategy. Gotcha. So that's the best way to contact me. And of course, at Lagos Mom is always there. I mm-hmm. have my pages too. Of course. So if you DM'd me through that and said, you know, I listened to you, I wanted to get in touch with you for this other reason, right. I could I would still re- I would still respond to you and take you um in the right direction. Awesome. Awesome. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much, Yeti. It's been really great Thank to have you on you. here. If you have any you so much. new thing in a tech space or whatever it is you're doing and you want to just let us know and I'll bring you up on here again talk about it so people can know that I mean I can, can know about that and learn more about um, Lagos Moms and Slay with Digital but thank yeah. you thank you very much Yeti do have a wonderful day ahead you too thanks for having me <laughs> welcome bye bye that was awesome wasn't it we're gonna go on a short break when we come back we have another fantastic guest who cannot wait to tell you about his business talk to you soon The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go back to sleep, technology is everywhere. It is changing everything so fast that many no longer remember what it is like to live without technology. You might even say, the whole world is mad about tech. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk, only on Africa Business Radio. Oh, this feels like the final football match between two soccer warriors. Oh my god, can somebody please tell me what the African formation is? Oh, oh, it's 4-4-2, amazing! 
cool stuff. That's just super amazing, isn't it? Africa Business Radio is doing 442 on the news with 40% Nigerian stories, 40% African stories, and 20% global stories. Now that's what I call a homegrown hot drinking goal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the flight that takes you from Stratton to Straighten. We are seconds from takeoff. We ask that you please fasten your earpiece into your eardrum and please log on to africabusinessradio.com to avoid being distracted. Thank you for choosing Africa Business Radio. Enjoy this cerebral journey. Doing business in Africa can be complicated. Politicians sometimes create circumstances that hurt businesses and consumers, and then they hide behind a wall of to avoid taking responsibility for their bad economic policies. On Red Tape Africa, we slice through the jargon, drawing a direct link between government actions and their effects on businesses across the continent. Red Tape Africa is where we break down the jargons of business and economic policies in plain English so that you can understand how the impacts on your business and on you. Join us every Tuesday and Thursday on Africa Business Radio as we deliver an impartial verdict on these policies. Red Tape Africa, economic policy impact in plain English. Wake up. The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go back to sleep, technology is everywhere. It is changing everything so fast that many no longer remember what it is like to live without technology. You might even say, the whole world is mad about tech. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk, only on Africa Business Radio. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. <laughs> Welcome back to 989 Tech Talk. I've got Godwin in the <laughs> Miracle Godwin, who is here to tell us about his business called HTML Foods. I really, really like the name. Hi, Miracle. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How's it going? Fine, fine, fine. Okay. How did you guys come about the name HTML Foods? I'm, I'm very in curious. I'm curious how. Okay, um, HTML food started um, by was started by three techies. Okay. M- Miracle, Tony, and Emmanuel. Okay. Um, we met when we came to serve in Ondo State Ooh. in 2014, 2015. Okay. By the sets, yes. Nice. Um, we met while we were trying to solve um, ICT problem for the Said then. Okay. That was how we met. Right. And when we moved to our PP location in Korea, mm-hmm. we all stayed together in the same house. Right. Um, one of the things that joined us together then as techies was food. Right. Food joined <laughs> us together. And we had friends coming together. And for Miracle, um, one of his hobbies is um, cooking food. Okay. Cooking good food, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, cooking good food. And I personally, Miracle, love seeing people getting satisfied eating quality food. Right. I'm just happy when I see people eat good food. Right, right. Um, my colleague, Tony, too, also had a knack for a food business. Okay. 
uh, yes, he had a knack for a food business when he was coming into the city. So it was um, a situation of like minds coming together. Right. right. Yeah. So um, when we finished having, um, we had we saw the problem in the city, like people coming from Lagos, right. Abuja, right. Kaduna. Yeah, coming into the city, as at then, there were a lot of gaps in the food service industry. Right, right. So right. we said instead of us going out to look for jobs, right, uh, we can come up with a solution since we have something, a tool in our hands. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, so um, we're looking for how to connect techie and food together. Got you. And that was how HTML came in. Now, one of those things about HTML, if you're a coder, is this. Um, mm -hmm. HTML, those days, the basic programming language you should know. Of course, right. Hyper, <laughs> yeah, it means hypertext markup language. is the basic language you should know. Right. Now, food is a basic need for man. It's a non-negotiable need mm -hmm. for man. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we said, okay, HTML will be a nice name. HTML, right. it's in line connecting techie Absolutely. and food. Yes. Then at the same time, we had to change the meaning of the HTML for food to hypertext in the language. <laughs> Fantastic. That's absolutely brilliant. That's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. That's all we did. Mm. Yeah. So hypertext in the language. So along the line, people were like, ah, is it that you can't download the food? Like they know that this is related to technology. <laughs> right. Like, that's like that. Yes. So that was the idea initially about the name. Right. Yeah, right. we started with our flagship product for the market. Then we started with um, making as simple as shawarma. Right. Then we were trying to understand our market. But before then, we were already doing some little little cooking for people, or gonna help some people around, some little little families, just to help them cook, like just for the fun, without any making money out of right. it. And we noticed that uh, they were asking, like, please, can you do this? Then that was when we now thought that, man, this is, there's a market. Right, right. There's a market here, so we had to inculcate everything and we had to register the business. Right. And we were focused on it right from when we finished service in Ondo State. Oh. And we've been on that platform since then, that was in 2015. Right. The business was registered in 2016 oh. may 2016 right so yes after we've done some little little business around business around so proceeds from the business right that's what we used to right. register so oh. basically html food has been growing on its own oh, so it's been self-funded that's what you're saying yes oh, yes awesome. it's been growing on its own yes right. it's been growing on its own so right. it's it's, it's as, a, as a result of the drive the passion we no, put into 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 what we are doing right. but we put work into it right. then one of the good locks we had then was earlier in our businesses okay. uh, in 2016 we were exposed to this grant by the government for training um, oh, nice. um, one of these business schools so three of us got um, business education training from um, in partnership with um, Africa Management Initiative in Nairobi and nice. also nice. Um, Lagos Business School. Oh. So that education helped us right. in our early stage. Right. It helped right. us in our early stage to be able to run business without no serious funding, grow the business organically. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I can... Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. yeah. So when we started, we, we looked at our market and we said, okay, who are the people that can pay for our services? Who are the people we need to attend to? Looking okay. at our major issue, which is important, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, why we started was we were looking at okay, most of the people coming into this city are there's no good food service, right? They were coming from Lagos, they were coming from Accra, we right. were coming from they were coming from Abuja, uh -huh. Kaduna, like us. Uh -huh. So, we decided to create a niche in that market, right? And we targeted um organizations like UNICEF. Um, Central Bank of Nigeria, right. other banks around. Right. Right. So we target, targeted them. We made provision of good content in terms of visual content. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, visual content, well designed because we are designers too. Of course. So we did something very good on paper and showed them. Then we had some little, little testimonies from people like, I know these guys, they can do it, they can do it. And those, <laughs> right. that goodwill was there for us too. Right. So, and every time we were given opportunity in our energy, we always deliver. That's, we, that's awesome. That's we go awesome. beyond delivery. 
That's awesome. We go the extra mile. Aww. So that has helped us um, gain a lot of traction. Right. Um, like partnering with some um, of the um, ministries in the government right. here in, in those states right. um, that are giving us that leverage. One of those other people are um, the innovation office right. of Ondo State. Here right. is um, founded by um, Joel Ogunsola. Oh, that's um, awesome. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I can, I can uh, hear, I can hear how passionate you are about HTML foods, and it's just really yeah. great what you guys are doing. So you guys, first of all, you guys are not in Lagos. You guys are in Akure, which is wonderful. Yes. And you guys are getting yeah. support from like the the government and like from other organization who are like trying to partner with it's just really really great and i am like proud of your achievement so far you guys started as students and then you were trying to do something in the school and boom you guys formed HTML foods but what is the full yeah. meaning again can you say that since it's not hi no say that again it was, it was really... hi what hyper Hyper? Tasty meal language. Ooh, hyper tasty meal language. I like, I like. <laughs> um, then I saw on your um, on your social, I can see on your social media, um, um, your Instagram precisely, it says if um, if people, 15 to 30% on um, investment. Well, can you talk, can you, can you talk more about that, please? Okay. Um, we, earlier in January this year, right. uh, we needed to scale up. Right. Uh, we needed to scale up because the market was going so wild. Right. And with our current resources, we could not manage, we could not meet up to demand. So okay. we had to put out put out an information to friends right. for investment, more of like a loan kind of investment. Right. And family friends came <laughs> through, through WhatsApp and Instagram. Aww. Like there was so much goodwill, like people... <laughs> Um, asking questions like, okay, you don't know, have other then we're not even running our site because we're maximizing the major channels we use for our right. business WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook. Makes sense. Those were the Makes major sense. channels we're using because the people we want to meet, they are there. Right. They want to they want to see appealing visual content. I know, right? They are on those <laughs> platforms. Yeah. Right. So we had to make use. So we're able to raise roughly over 2 million naira. Oh, nice. To, yeah, via those platforms. Nice. To put in some basic stuff, right? And at the moment, we we have um, over fifteen staff, mm-hmm. fifteen employees. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, okay. so we have direct and indirect staff. Okay. So now, um, having to have those these people, right, has been has been something that we've got into another stage of the business where we need to scale. We need to get stuff like. Um, motorbikes for delivery because this is one of the major aspects right. that is selling for us in the city of Akure. We are taking over the market space. Nice. I like that. We have come, we've come <laughs> over again to the cycle of we are not meeting the demand, having to pay those people right. with collected funds from because right. those really like short them, short them. Right. So at the moment, we have even grown from our investment plan of six months to we are no longer collecting six months. It is <laughs> one year, two years, of or course, three years. Of course, of yes. course, of so, course. Um, Go ahead. At, at the moment, at, at the moment, our pressing need is around. At the moment, for the next phase of our investment, uh-huh. our pressing is, uh, is, uh, is around um, seven to eight million there. Okay. Yeah, seven to eight million there and okay. on if um, we are looking at um on the seven to eight million there are looking at a fifteen percent um return on investment within a year. For is this yes. Okay. Yes, fifteen percent interest rate within one year to two years. It depends mm-hmm. on how right. the person wants to re- receive his um, dividend. Right. So okay. yes, at the moment we have an outlet which is uh, actually under construction. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it's been roofed. They've done the um, roofing. They've mm-hmm. done the windows. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to do some finishing to start operations. Right. So this is what these funds will help us do, and also it is also going to help us have more staff because this was one of the major reasons we started right. to employ people to employ the nigerian youth right. because the system we have created is going to help us employ employ more when we are done with this space we already have a phase where we want to have many outlets okay around yes not just in our career we are looking at other states like abuja lagos Portaco, because we are having some serious press from people to come because we are actually awesome. working with a structured system mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So um, that's why most times when people ask us, they just tell them the English term of HTML food. HTML food is actually a food service culinary outfit that <laughs> right. offers customized, yeah, that right. offers customized food solutions mm-hmm. using design thinking, technology, and creative intelligence. Right, that's so awesome. that's what we are doing. Yeah, so we've actually understood some of these businesses, um, some of these strong brands that mm-hmm. that have been out there that had issues that are going down now. Why did they go down? Right. What happened? Right. What happened? So um, we are taking using programming right. to understanding to un- to understand sorry to understand how food service should be done better. Makes sense. So we are also bringing those tech key principles right. into food service delivery. Makes a whole lot of sense. I'm yeah. Thinking. So yeah. So we are also gathering data. For another aspect of the HTML food, right. that is for later on. I won't, I won't spill that out. No, that's okay. No. That's because I'll bring yeah. you up on the show again. I, you, you have to yeah. us about that later when it's when it's ready. Yeah. So, so we are working. We are working gradually. Yes, we are working gradually. We are getting the yes. One of those challenges of startups in Nigeria is funds. Mm-hmm. Uh, we see somebody who can understand our vision right. and boom, mm-hmm. we we'll get there. But we are taking it step by step. I know step by step, it's one step at a time. Again, I'm I'm super yes. proud about the achievement so far. The business is self funded, and you guys are not even in Lagos. You know how everybody is running to Lagos, thinking, "Ooh, Lagos is where it's at." If I if I bring my if I don't bring my, bring my my business to Lagos, yeah. I won't succeed. But you guys are in Akure, you guys are doing the thing. That's just absolutely amazing. I am proud of you guys, and I hope that you guys are able to raise the seven or eight million. Eight million dollars. Yeah. I'm sorry, actually, Naira. But I hope it's dollars because you just never know. You just never know who yeah. might be listening to the show. I just say, you know what? Let's give let's let's give them let's give them eight million dollars. You know, let's let, let them take over yeah. not just Akure but like other um other other cities in Nigeria. Yeah. Really we proud of it. Plan, we have plans for the eight million dollars already. <laughs> so as I said, as I said, as I said, we are doing everything in phases because. What you you don't have to talk about it now. I, can, I once you guys once I bring you up on the show again, you can always tell us about other stuff that you need money for. Okay, um, mi- miracle. All right, okay. Um, so so that's absolutely wonderful, guys. I will have to call him up so he can round up. I don't don't want to be rude. So just hold on a second. This is Brian Harris from Atlanta, and I listen to 989 Tech Talk with Michelle on Africa Business Radio. And I'm so mad about Tech Talk. I hope you are too. Wake up. The revolution is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to 989 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 989 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. <laughs> Oh, this feels like the final football match between two soccer warriors. Oh my god, can somebody please tell me what the African formation is? Oh, oh, it's 4 4 2. Amazing! Cool stuff. That's just super amazing, isn't it? Africa Business Radio is doing 4 4 2. Hi guys, this is Brian Harris from Atlanta. And I listen to 989 Tech Talk with Michelle on Africa Business Radio. And I'm so mad about Tech Talk. I hope you are too. To 989 Tech Talk. Um, I still have Miracle Godwin here with me. So Miracle, yes, you were you were trying to round up before the, the line got connected, disconnected, I beg your pardon. Okay, okay. 
So um, at the moment at HTML Food, we are planning to we are working towards having some of our products okay. on the shelves of grocery stores, nice. um, like the Zobolini tea which is an extract of uh, the Happy Course tea, because it has so much benefits. Wait, wait, for wait, the, wait! I'm so sorry, that was a little faster. Who what now? We call it the Zobolini tea bag. The Zobolini tea bag. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, okay. This this is one of our products that we just put into the market after one of these national investment programs right. through Premier Hub, Innovation Hub in Akure on those states. Okay. Yeah, okay. we just finished. Well, we got a little grant from them for okay. that project. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's so um, we are putting the product in the market. Then we have other stores processing Nigerian farm produce. Nice. Into packaged stuff to nice. put them on the shelves. Nice. Yeah. In, innovatively fortify them right. and put them on the shelves right. so that we can go beyond just a career, mm-hmm. just beyond um, Nigeria and overseas. Right. So that's what we are looking at. So we have these things planned in phase it. it goes beyond the food system of food, fresh food service delivery, catering service. We, do, we cater for events. Mm-hmm. So we are looking beyond that. We are also trying to see how we can solve the problem right. for the Nigerian agricultural, uh, Nigerian agricultural farmers to ensure that they avoid wastage. Awesome. So, you guys are doing yeah. great and you guys will do great. Again, I'm super proud Thanks. of you and your achievement. You and your other co-founders, your three co-founders in the business. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Awesome. So if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how can they get in touch with you? Okay. Um... Um, you can call on zero eight one. Okay. One fourteen fifty two. Okay. Three six five zero. Okay. How about an email address? Oh, um, an email address. You can reach us on htmlfoods at gmail dot com. Okay. Or um, you can reach us on our social media platforms. All HTML Foods. Awesome. Thank you very much. Let me let me try and see if I'll get it this time. So H- HTML stands for Hyper Tasty Meal Language. Ooh, I'm smart. I'm smart. So Hyper Tasty yeah, Meal Language. Are. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Miracle. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to bring you guys on in the studio again to talk about like latest um what you guys are up to or what you guys are looking to go into and next time when I bring you on the show I want you to say that you've been able to raise the funds you guys are looking for because I really want you guys to Oh, we look forward to we look forward to speaking the food <laughs> language to you. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Thank you and yeah. have a wonderful day ahead. Bye. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, it's been really, really fun. I'm so sorry. I promised you guys gadgets, doctor today, but we're so out of time and we can't bring him in. But catch us same time tomorrow. And there, there's just so much information on technology, and we're that's why we're mad about tech. You guys can now see why we're, or you can now hear why we're mad about tech. Um, to catch up, please follow up on uh, follow us on social media on our various social media platforms at 99 Tech Talk on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and follow Africa Biz Radio on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Africa Biz Radio on Twitter. Catch you guys same time tomorrow. We cannot wait to talk to you again. Have a wonderful day and bye. Listening to Africa Business Radio, where you get up to date insights on the Africa business landscape. Log on to www.africabusinessradio.com. Your favorite shows are available as podcasts. Download them on our website and mobile app. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. You're listening to Africa Business Radio, where you get up-to-date insights on the Africa business landscape. Log on to www.africabusinessradio.com. Your favorite shows are available as podcasts. Download them on our website and mobile app. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. 
You are listening to Africa Business Radio, where you get up-to-date insight on Africa business landscape. Log on to www.africabusinessradio.com. Your favorite shows are available as podcasts. Download them on our website and mobile app. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. Oh, this feels like the final football match between two soccer warriors. Oh my God, can somebody please tell me what the African formation is? Oh, oh, it's 4-4-2, amazing, cool stuff. That's just super amazing, isn't it? Africa Business Radio is doing 442 on the news with 40% Nigerian stories, 40% African stories, and 20% global stories. Now that's what I call a homegrown hot 